what's happening everyone my name is Alex and welcome back today we have a new camera comparison between the Asus Zenfone 5 and the Xiaomi Mi A2 so first of all you can buy the Xiaomi Mi A2 for about $260 where the Asus Zenfone 5 costs some around $350 to $400 so we have a rather big price difference on the back of the Xiaomi Mi A2 we have a couple of cameras. The main camera is a 12 megapixel sensor with the f1.8 and the second camera is a 20 megapixel sensor with the f1.8. Moving on to the Asus Zenfone 5, on the back of this one we have two cameras as well. The first one is a 12 megapixel sensor with the f1.8 but we also have optical image stabilization and the second lens is a 8 megapixel sensor with the f2.0. So throughout this video we are gonna check out some daytime pictures, after that we are gonna move on and see some nighttime pictures, we are also gonna check out some sample videos that I've recorded both these devices and at the end we can check out some um, selfies. So starting with the daytime pictures, here you'll notice that most pictures taken by the Zenfone 5 are a bit sharper, a bit brighter and uh, with better dynamic range, but the colors for the pictures taken by the Mi A2 are more natural and closer to reality. And me personally, I prefer the pictures taken by the Mi A2 because they just um, seem to look better, so closer to what I'm seeing with my own eyes. So next I want to let you guys watch some more pictures so you can make up your own mind and decide um, which pictures you like more. So definitely let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. to nighttime pictures well here I feel that most pictures taken by the Asus Zenfone 5 are better because most of them are sharper and most of them are also brighter so I think the winner for nighttime pictures is the Zenfone 5 so let's check out those pictures Next we are moving on to some video recording. So both devices can record in 4K at 30 frames per second and supposedly they both have image stabilization at that resolution. Now I find that the image stabilization from the Zenfone 5 is way better than the image stabilization from the Mi A2 but you could technically install a different camera app on the Mi A2 and get better image stabilization 
but um, the videos that you're about to, to see or um, record the stock camera apps. So the sound recordings from the Zenfone 5 are better and the image stabilization, but the colors seem to be better from the Mi A2. So let's check those out. We have our first video test between the Asus Zenfone 5 and the Xiaomi Mi A2. So I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and um, at this resolution both devices have electronic image stabilization so the footage shouldn't be that shaky. Keep in mind that it's also quite windy out so you may be able to hear some wind aside from my voice. So under these conditions, so basically walking, this is how a 4K recording from these two devices would look like. We have another quick video recording um, with the Asus Zenfone 5 and the Xiaomi Mi A2. Once again I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second, but this time there isn't as much wind um, as before. So you should uh, be able to hear my voice um, much better. So under these conditions this is um, how a 4K recording from these two devices would look like. And lastly we're gonna check out some selfies. So for selfies um, the Mi A2 has a 20 megapixel front facing camera where the Zenfone 5 has a 8 megapixel front facing camera and I feel um, that most um, selfies that I took with the Mi A2 are better than the ones that I took with the Zenfone 5. So let's check those out. Time to conclude this video. So I feel that most pictures taken by the Asus Zenfone 5 were a bit better than the pictures taken by the Mi A2, at least for the rear cameras because the front facing camera on the Mi A2 seems to be better. But um, what do you guys think? Which phone do you prefer? Do you prefer this one or this one? Let me know in the comments below. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.